this video, I'm sharing how I take care of this gorgeous cactus plant I found locally during the winter months. This plant is very pokey or spiky, so you will want to wear a good pair of gloves or something to protect your skin. I love these gloves because they have a thick rubber that the prickers can't get through. Houseplants and cactus like these make a great addition to your home, especially during the winter months, because they add brightness or some green. I want to note that you don't want to put this in direct sunlight, so pick a window that gets plenty of light but not direct sunlight. This type of cactus can take some neglect. I had one of these that went over a year in my home without watering. However, I do not recommend that you do that if you want to keep the plant happy. I like using terracotta planters for my cactus. I just like the look. First thing you want to do is make sure there is a hole in the bottom of the container you are using to encourage proper drainage. The cactus like to be dry, no wet feet or roots. This container is roughly the same size as the original pot the plant came in, which is perfect for this variety. Not all plants like to be in big containers and it does not always encourage the plant to grow bigger in that space. This container is perfect for at least the next few years with this cactus. The first thing I do is fill about a fourth of the container at the bottom with the sandstone I find locally. You can find those really cheap at Lowe's. I buy a giant bag of it. It's back by the stones and the mulch and I always have it on hand um, because I really believe that the cactus and succulents enjoy the calcium that comes off of the sandstone. Okay, now with those protective gloves on, gently lift the cactus. I'm going to knock some of this potting soil out just so the plant isn't too tall for the container. The roots will find their way into the sandstone I added to the bottom of the container. You can use the soil that is in the container purchased at the store most of the time. This soil in this particular pot looks perfect. It looks like a basic potting mix with plenty of perlite which are these little white dots in there, which will allow the water to drain well, along with hold in some moisture. If you feel compelled to put your own soil in it, just be sure it's a cactus blend. Gently hold the cactus in place. Don't squeeze it. That can damage the cactus and hurt if you don't have the right protection on your hands. I have one hand positioning the plant so it stays nice and straight for the most part and the other filling the container with the potting soil. Be very careful. Don't poke your hand with this plant. It really does hurt. And some of these cactus, they'll put a splinter in that just burns. So here we go. We're just going to fill in with the soil we have. Okay, now that I've added the soil, I am going to top off the container with small pieces of the sandstone. These will help hold the cactus until it gets established again. And it also works like a mulch, only like desert style. <laughs> I love how that sandstone looks with the terracotta, don't you? Now I'm going to water the plant thoroughly. I'm using a water I use in my greenhouse. It is from our well water. There's no fluoride in it like you will find in city tap water. We're gonna water the plant with about one cup of this water. Lift the plant, making sure it is draining properly. Do not let the plant sit in the water left in the saucer. I give the plant a good watering like this maybe every six months. When you're watering, be sure to water at the base of the plant. Do not dump it over the top of the cactus. I recommend doing this on a tray like I have here to protect your tables and furniture and whatnot. Or you can also do it in the kitchen. You're only going to do this, like I said, maybe once every six months. That's all this cactus really needs as long as it's draining properly. And there it is, that healthy 
cactus I found at my local Walmart for under $4, adding some warmth to my home on this cold winter's day. It is that easy. Thanks for checking out my video today. You can find this and other creative living ideas on my website at brenhaas.com. I hope to see you there.